Hi Leo, welcome to your 2023 year ahead forecast. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Leo, if you haven't already, uh, feel free to check out my December 2022 reading and that's available on YouTube. Uh, there may be some important uh, messages there for you for December 2022. But that being said, this is a complete reading. Uh, so let's get started. For your overall spirit animal for the year, I was pulling this in from the December reading, meaning something that happened to you late in 2022 is transformative, has the power to transform. You have the power to transcend the situation, whatever happened, and come out the other side with more knowledge, with more power, with more understanding. I have you here, Leo, as a Turner, she who becomes. Now, it's not gender specific, of course, it could be male or female. But this I see as your metamorphosis. This I see as your part of your journey was experiencing this moment, however unpleasant it was, allowing you to transcend and to overcome and to release, to be able, there's an important energy here of growth in letting go. Uh, through letting go, there is growth, the power of letting go. For your overall energy for the year, we do have healing, healing energy around you. I do see this as a successful healing. I almost get a magician-like energy off this. So it tells me that you have the ability to heal some kind of family trauma. Uh, I get healing, family, healing a family trauma. Uh, for some of you, you in 2023 you'll be able to heal some kind of uh, family family issue there, there may have been a divorce uh, there may have been a situation where you became disconnected from family there may have been some bad blood around uh, an inheritance i'm getting that uh, there may have been a situation here which requires family to get together and heal some past wounds, perhaps because of someone who had passed on in 2022, but that won't be for all of you. And some of you are just re requiring to, uh, to heal family issues, perhaps after a divorce or during a, a separation. So let's see where this is going because I've got you here, Leo, kind of stuck with this knight of pentacles energy it's in reverse now for you i'm getting it's important to keep your eye firmly focused on a goal in 2023 have something to to aim for have something to look forward to because this does appear to be at least at the beginning of the uh, the year a bit of a trying time for my leos out there so getting moving getting motivated putting a strategy in place taking action uh, through i feel like there's a pause a delay in taking some kind of necessary action uh, some of you may need to make a big change in your life and you've been putting it off uh, putting it on hold uh, it seems like you're in limbo at the moment some of you are waiting for this ending, waiting for this divorce uh, or separation to be finalized. Some of you are waiting on an inheritance, uh, Leo. Uh, or some of you even could be waiting on some kind of payout or money, perhaps related to the a job, a job severance before you start on something new. Some of you are taking some time off between jobs. I'm also getting that. Now we have the uh, the temple path, which for me is very much a spiritual energy with this dragonfly magic and strength. So yeah, faith, faith pulling you through. The power of your faith, strong faith, strong spiritual connection with whatever spirit guide that you have in your life. And Leo, of course, strength card is associated with you. So what I do, I do feel that you're a person of uh, high values, high moral, uh, moral values, high integrity. Uh, so I get you taking, um, falling back on the spiritual path. 
I get uh, I get you as someone who is an enlightened person, uh, spiritually uh, enlightened, and I get you being able to. Uh, it, it feels a little bit like. Um, um, okay, I'm going to put it this way. Uh, it feels very healing. I get a healing power around you, a healing energy, Leo. The power of your faith, trusting in your faith, gives you this healing energy, this glow around you. Uh, it's an ability to be compassionate towards others. I see you as someone who is very, very generous, very giving. Very generous and giving. But there may have been a time in 2022 where you felt like perhaps you overgave or you gave too much to a situation. You don't want to overgive, I'm getting that. Uh, you have this beautiful generous spirit which, which is beautiful, but I just get an energy of you holding that back a little or needing to hold it back in 2023 and perhaps give a little bit more of that generosity to oneself to take care of oneself it's like charity begins at home like you 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 have to put food on your table before you put food on anyone else's table i'm getting that message feed yourself nourish yourself before nourishing others so i get a sense around you of needing to um, needing to put the focus firmly on yourself in 2023 if you have a goal or ambition to to find a partner a long-term partner in 2023 i get that being delayed while you take care of things that are home related a practical nature um, it could be finding a job, it could be a move, it could be a transition of some kind that you're going through. Yeah, I get you being in, in a, a transcendent energy and, and perhaps a little bit of an in-between stage, a growth period, which is uh, difficult, difficult. Uh, anytime we go through growth, we get those growing pains, right? It's a painful experience, growth. So I do see that happening uh, but it's 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 for a purpose. It's to it's to get you moving. It's to get you motivated to take action, uh, to make a big uh, leap of faith, a change in your life. And it starts with faith. Faith in your spirit, and faith in in yourself. Now I want to get a um, I want to get a financial card for you guys for 2023. Please show me message for Leo regarding their finances and career. The artist, okay, this is Venusian energy. Creating a vision, yeah, having a strategy, creating a vision for the future. You are a creative type, very visionary. Uh, I do see you as someone who has a, uh, uh, I get a storytelling spirit, someone who can uh, who can hold sway, hold court over others uh, with your imagination, draw people in with your creativity, with your vision. I do get you being somewhat of an idealistic sort, uh, perhaps a little bit on the naive side when you were younger, uh, not so much for my older, for my more experienced folks out there. I do get you um, connecting with source, with, with spirit, uh, having harmonious balance there on the uh, on more of a, a higher level. Uh, uh, again, I get transcendence, uh, rising above. There's an energy uh, now. You're a very passionate person, obviously, but I get you putting passions on hold in order to feed yourself, to nourish yourself, uh, to educate yourself, to do things that are for you. Some of you are deciding to um, go back to. Uh, Go back to something that you've always wanted to do in your youth. Uh, some of you are going back to school, uh, university, trying a new career that you've always wanted to try. And so you're having to put your uh, 
love passions on hold for a bit. Uh, that's for some of you. Some of you could be uh, at a distance from family or loved ones while you go through this stage in your life. I get you being open and receptive to what comes your way after this release that happened in 2022. And I also get this reverence, this spirituality around you as well. Some of you, um, some of you will find work through a spiritual connection. It could be a church, synagogue, wherever you commune with spirit. You may find something there which actually turns out to be a strong line of work for you. Um, it could be that you meet someone in, in one of these places and they say, hey, you know, I need this done or I want, uh, I'd like to have this created or can you paint this mural for me or whatever, right? It, it, I get some kind of creative project, creative endeavor and it's attached to, in some way to your, to your idealism, your spirituality, uh, Leo. Now we also have the card of walking away. And this is uh, paired with the Five of Wands in reverse. So look, uh, yeah, Leo, you're not interested in petty arguments, fighting with other people. Uh, you believe in what you believe. Uh, they can believe what they believe. Uh, politically speaking, I see you um, taking the high road, uh, not getting involved in uh, uh, arguments over politics, uh, religion, <laughs> uh, people. I see you. Um, I see you rising above that, walking away from it, knowing what's best for you, knowing what you believe, and uh, leaving the rest to their own beliefs. You know, that's, this is not trying to sway people, not trying to. Uh, say hey you know you need to do it this way no it feels just like live and let live live and let live and and uh, especially if you've been in having conflict with a particular person i get an energy here of you just saying you know what i don't agree with that person i'll just let it go i believe what i believe they believe what they believe i'm just letting it go and i'm walking away so communication for you in 2023 is about you walking away from uh, People who are trying to push your buttons or whenever you whenever you be being triggered by something, I get you just letting it go, letting letting it flow over you, uh, not engaging in any kind of uh, petty squabbles or struggles with uh, with other people. Uh, especially if it's like someone that you meet in the street or uh, somebody who uh, upsets you, does something that uh, goes against your values and beliefs. I just see you letting it go rather than confronting them. It just feels like an easier energy around you. Uh, you're not getting involved in things that you don't have to involve yourself in, uh, Leo. Because I've got this as you, whether you're male or female, this is not a gender specific reading. We've got the King of Wands with the happy family energy. Yeah, so this is just uh, sitting pretty really. Uh, this, this feels like uh, harmony and um, not wanting to engage in, in fights. Uh, this feels like um, a harmonious pairing. Okay, interesting. Mm. Yeah, you know, if there has been family drama, family squabbles, problems in the family, I just get an energy of just release, letting it go, not, not letting it bother you. Um, being content where you're at. There's an energy here of uh, satisfaction feeling joy with what is, having gratitude for for your life, the way that it is now, uh, not yearning for more, not longing for more. Okay, yeah, this it just feels like um, being content, being happy with yourself, being happy with who you are. Uh, not necessarily even with other people, I just, I just get this happiness that you feel, this contentment with self radiates out to others. 
and draws people in to want to uh, to share in your energy here uh, Leo I also get for some of you uh, where there has been uh, perhaps separation you may be getting back together after realizing that you know what it's not worth it, whatever that pettiness was it's not worth breaking up over uh, so some of you Leos are finding finding happiness again with someone who you briefly separated from uh, some of you have had uh, a strategy to get this person back uh, some of you have firmly believed that you can get this person back you've turned it over to a god or whoever whatever deity you believe in you've uh, you've put your faith in trust in that deity to bring this person back to you and i and i feel that they are coming back to you i feel that there will be a return to a harmonious balance with this person where there has been a separation some of you could even be a return to um, uh, to happiness with a person that you were divorced from now I'm not saying you're going to get married again to this person but I just get a harmonious energy between the two of you being able to work things out and perhaps even become friends lifelong friends yeah now we also have this energy of the seventh chakra and this is with the seven of pentacles so uh, sevens is a very spiritual number spiritual path uh, again i feel that this is uh, patience uh, transcendence uh, there's an instinctive knowing so leo again i feel like um, for you for you it just feels like um, coming to uh, that fork in the road and knowing which which road to take okay coming to that fork in the road knowing which road to take okay yeah i get a lead up a lead up because i was getting that throughout this year this i don't feel like any action is going to be taken towards the next step or the next stage this feels like a transitional energy uh, where you've let go of something in 2022 or early 2023 you're steadily working towards an outcome that you want to achieve in 2023 but you i don't feel that you're achieving it in 2023 i think that will come later but for you it's about enjoying the ride enjoying the journey seeing this as part of a as your spiritual growth having faith and trust that things will work out eventually and not not trying not sweating the small stuff on the way you know um, it is about the journey for you the journey the journey finding yourself on a journey and it's a journey that has been long delayed some of you were in a partnership you had to get out of a partnership some of you were in a long-standing job that you had to get out of some of you were uh, involved with a family business and that kept you restricted whatever it was i feel like you're starting the year knowing that that has to go it has to be released you have strong faith in your ability to overcome the challenges necessary to move ahead you're taking your time throughout 2023 you're taking a slow pace you're finding contentment with with yourself and you're contemplating your next move it's a little bit like a chess game that i'm seeing here um, 
you feel like your life is a chess game and you 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 feel like you need to to it's very slow chess is slow uh, chess is not this is not a fast chess game this is a very slow game very slow game here you're strategizing okay now we've got the envy card with the wheel of fortune so this is envying others that are more fortunate than you um, I feel that you're feeling like you're you there's an energy around you or you have in the past at least felt like you you weren't receiving yours uh, that you were in a bad position uh, that you were less fortunate that you didn't have it as much as someone else or some other people around you you were looking outside of your what you had for uh, for contentment for happiness but I do feel that you do have financial constraints around you Leo I feel like there's something else you want to do some some place that you want to be um, maybe some of you want to be an artist some of you have some kind of artistic project or creative endeavor that you'd like to get started on but you feel that you can't due to financial constraints uh, you feel like you'd be better off somewhere else I feel you're on this journey you're trying to find the way ahead uh, I get a slow pace around you a steady progress steady as she goes steady as she goes um, things will work out financial constraints and the seven of swords yeah the cupboard is bare I feel like you want to leave a partnership you want to leave behind uh, it could be a a, a job a, a marriage a partnership a place but you feel like you can't because everything boils down to money and, you, and, the, and your wallet's dry there's nothing in your wallet uh, you feel like gosh I don't have enough money to do what I want uh, you feel like you'd like to do something you may want to uh, uh, move you may want to travel you may want to uh, um, take some time off work to start an artistic and or creative endeavor of your own you may want to work for you yourself you may want to start your own business here you feel like you're being restricted financially you have to stay with what is and be patient there be content with what you have now we have uh, the ten of swords and yin and yang the energy that I'm picking up around this is uh, this this feels like rock bottom to me uh, Leo I feel like you've recently hit some kind of rock bottom uh, something ended for you you've had to start fresh start over uh, again I get for some of you there has been a, a need to let go of a, a partnership which where there was some kind of death cycle it may have actually been a physical death in which case again I give you a big warm embrace there guys and it may have been a situation it may have been the death of or death of a soulmate uh, it may have been a separation from a soulmate it may have been a divorce from a, a soulmate uh, some of you have felt disconnected from a soulmate uh, some of you have uh, had to not get involved with okay I'm also getting this so I'm getting um, I'm getting for some of you uh, there was a bad breakup in 2022 with someone that you thought was a soulmate but turned out not to be may have been like a false twin flame something like that uh, there was an ending there you didn't see it coming you're having to reconcile what you thought was going to happen with this person with what actually happened which was an ending but the thing is with the ten of swords is that of course yes there's this figure that has been caused pain and this person has gone through a loss a death cycle uh, behind them is this dawning of a new day so yeah I get that um, I get that things will balance out things will uh, things will come in for you that are better uh, you, you felt like gosh I've been in this 
negative cycle for a while now where things just don't work out I don't see have um, my no, I haven't I'm not paid well for my job or I haven't found the right job for me I, my, my cupboard is bare I'm finding it hard to uh, uh, to I don't have money to spend on uh, on things that I'd like to spend I don't have the money to go off and do uh, things that I'd like to do and you're looking at other people thinking gosh what they seem to be able to do it why can't I I don't have the money to go off and do these things so yeah, I do get you being a little bit envious of people around you here, Leo, uh, in 2023. Now, we also have this energy of Knight of Swords with all tied up. Well, this is getting yourself out of a tough situation. Freeing yourself from restrictions. Uh, some of you are, have been caught up in a relationship where someone was draining your finances or there, there was some kind of issue there where you'd be better off separating yourself from that person in order to uh, uh, to get free so that you can build up your your own finance finances your own your own wealth uh, some of you are having to be free of a job that doesn't pay enough but whatever it is, I see you moving on from that. I see you finding a solution to get out of that, a strategy to uh, for better money. Some of you Leos are formulating a strategy that will uh, lead to a payoff in in some way. Formulating a plan to get your financial needs met. Now we have um, the second chakra with the Empress in the reverse here. So yeah, I feel emotionally speaking, you you may have um, okay, uh, mm, that's that's a little bit of difficult energy. Uh, yeah, I feel like you've had some bad times in love. Uh, there is an element that I'm picking up around wanting material gain through emotional connections, uh, being envious of people who are in a partnership that is financial and you feeling like you, you don't have the finances and you see yourself with someone and thinking, gosh, I'd be better off with that person uh, with two incomes coming in. But finding yourself uh, single, alone, perhaps after a separation, divorce, some family issues. Uh, some of you are Again, I get for some of you here, there's some kind of issue around uh, inheritance. It could be around a mother or a mother figure in your life uh, that has been eclipsed out of your life in uh, 2022. Or for those of you who are reading, who are watching this in uh, later in 2023, it could have even been early 2023 where this person was lost. Uh, there's feelings of emotions here. Uh, I also get being highly um, inflammatory, uh, uh, meaning things setting you off. Uh, envy, jealousy setting you off. Uh, other people setting you off. Uh, feeling like, gosh, you know, I'm not getting my needs met, that person is, and becoming very angry at that person. A little bit of a red flag there, guys, um, to, to try to release judgment around other people because although they may be appearing to have it better off than you, uh, of course, we don't know that's the case, guys. We don't know that's the case. We, we don't know what's behind closed doors with people, so uh, try not to be triggered. I'm getting that by uh, jealousy or envy or rage due to other people seemingly having it better off than you in 2023. Now, we also have 
the door to spirit and the four of pentacles in reverse well this is release of uh, association associating happiness with material things this feels like letting go of material things in order to to ascend to transcend so for a lot of you i feel like you've been um you've been in a financially restricted situation whether it's a job a partnership or you feel like you haven't been given your due you've been waiting on some money to come through it, it, it feel and, and you feel like you can't be happy until you get your finances in order uh, some of you have needed to get your finances in order before you can release a job or release a partnership I get that happening I, I get that happening in 2023 you'll be able to release that which has been restricting you and move on uh, because it seems like you're wanting to take action towards something that you feel passionate about but you haven't been able to do that just yet there's delay uh, some of you will need to get out from underneath one thing and into the next thing, which will be better. Or well, you feel it will be better. You feel more passionate about it. For a lot of you, it's a job. Some of you may want to leave a more mundane job and go towards something that calls in to, into your um, creative mind rather than more of your uh, calculated mind. Uh, some of you are dreaming of being a, an artist and wanting to create something with your hands, bring something to life, perhaps bring some, a business to life, but you're, you've had to delay that, uh, you've had to step back, you've had to formulate a strategy, be patient, you've had to rely on your, your spirituality, your faith to get you through you'll be doing a lot of that in 2023 but eventually I see you being able to transcend financial difficulties to get yourself out of a situation and into something else so it's a transition year for you Leo and whatever is being let go of or has been let go of in either in late 2022 or in early 2023 I feel that it's just it's it's a delay it's a delay it's a delay on your progress some of you are having to deal with a, uh, problems around an elderly relative I'm getting that uh, that that has delayed your progress some of you are dealing with a uh, divorce or potential divorce and you're needing to uh, be mindful of uh, having a uh, practical strategy regarding uh, finances during this time so that you are not left with the cupboards bare and that you're not left with with nothing Leah my goodness uh, lots of different energy here Let, let's see I'm gonna pull out cards from this deck I'll have to do it in two parts it's uh, quite voluminous and I can't shuffle the whole deck so bear with me here Leo message for Leo for 2023 message for Leo for 2023 the journey yeah and I was getting that right at the beginning you are learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside yeah so whatever was disappointing um, whatever didn't work out for you in 2022 something that you thought was going to lead to perhaps some financial prosperity uh, having that delayed uh, there's, there's a lot to be gained from whatever le I get a, a lesson of uh, patience, um, learning to delay gratification, uh, an energy here of uh, knowing when it's time to, to give up uh, on something and move towards something else if it's not going to fit your needs not wasting your time on one thing that isn't paying off for you and then moving your energy towards something else that will pay off for you down the line not tying yourself up with uh, with feelings of uh, regret 
sadness around the loss of something which was turned out to not be what you thought it was, turned out to be an empty cupboard, but you thought that that was going to perhaps be something that was filled with abundance and it turned out not to be. Uh, some of you were dealing with someone who um, yeah, turned out to be someone that you couldn't trust. Um, whoever if that's the case guys if you've been left by somebody um, I feel like this there's, there's something there where you uh, you needed to see that this person wasn't what you thought they were um, be grateful for that this person isn't in your life anymore uh, Leo uh, yeah, so, some of you are feeling like this person moved on to a, a better, something quote unquote better than you. Of course, that's not the case, guys. Uh, but that's a feeling that you have and it's, it's, it's bothering you. It's ticking you off. It's pissing you off. You feel like this person has taken whatever was theirs and left. Leaving you to deal with with with, uh, with the loss of this person or the expectations that they that they brought in with them you had some kind of expectation around them and and they've disappointed you leo let's see let's get the other side of this coin message for leo for 2023 what does Leo need to hear regarding this journey of theirs? What does Leo need to hear regarding this journey of theirs? Okay. Some of you have had to delay a passion project in order to deal with a family issue. Okay, let's see. What else for Leo? Oh, okay. We do have surrender and eventual celebration. Okay. So what I'm getting around this is release, of course, release, surrender or control, let nature take its course, uh, surrender to the journey, be at peace with the journey, uh, things will get better have faith and trust that things will get better eventually there will be a time later on that you can celebrate take time out for your own celebration but in the meantime you may be looking around at others celebrating uh, during uh, holiday periods and, and uh, uh, in the summertime in, uh, in, in your part of the world and thinking, gosh, I'd, I'd like to be celebrating too, but I can't because I'm dealing with this situation. Realize that it will be soon your time to celebrate. It will be your time to celebrate soon. 2023 is all about surrendering, letting go of what isn't working for you. Uh, it, it feels like you're moving on, taking this journey, having faith, starting this very fool like energy something that you've long delayed having this this strategy walking away from drama from conflict finding peace and happiness with yourself recognizing where you're needing to delay in order to get your finances in order before you can make this action. Yeah, I get delayed action, but it, it, you will be taking action probably towards the latter half of 2023. Yeah, yeah, it just feels like dealing with someone around you, perhaps an elderly relative or a spouse or soon to be ex-spouse, um, it feels like dealing with that situation is taking an emotional toll. Uh, some of you, some of you feel like something is too much work 
or something that you feel you've been working hard at is not paying off for you and so you're deciding to take action and uh, try your luck elsewhere something that you've longed to do that involves some kind of artistry okay let's see I'm gonna get some more cards for you I want to get an advice card for Leo message for Leo please moving forward message for Leo message for Leo what does Leo need to hear advice for Leo for 2023 advice for Leo what are the dominant emotions that run your life how do you fill your day stress or joy yeah, I just feel like this delayed situation things not working out in your favor uh, this conflict that's been around you I feel like you're releasing that and, and you're, you're accepting the delay you're saying there's no point in in, in me trying to control this this outcome uh, things are out of my control at the moment it will soon be my turn I just need to get some some funds together I need to work on my finances until I can do this so until I can do this I'm just going to stop stressing about it and 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 try and find some kind of contentment so how do you feel your day stress or joy well it's your choice Leo how do you feel your day trust or anger well spirit is saying rather than get angry with your circumstances spirit is saying trust that uh, trust in yourself and your ability uh, to to put yourself into a, a better position to move forward and and have uh, what you want in your life how do you feel your day anxiety or peace well uh, anxiety comes about as a result of circumstances that we can't control so recognizing and accepting that which we can't control and taking taking that off the table not think not not putting energy into it not to not it, having it not take up the bulk of our day will help you find peace we have only today right now the journey again the journey no goal no destination will bring us the feeling we seek rather that happiness and contentment has to come from within yourself so whatever you're hoping to do here I'm not saying it's a bad thing it, it's uh, something that I feel that you're going to go towards but it rather than see that as the answer the solution the thing that will bring you happiness spirit is saying you already have that which you seek which is the ability to have happiness and contentment in your life if you make the choice to relieve yourself of anxiety and stress associated with this delay but when we begin filling every day with that which we value most we will attract more of it and that is fulfillment so your sole action here Leo is to lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life adjust your values and adjust your expectations to match your desires you know disappointment and anger and resentment comes as a result of having an expectation that is not met so it may have been whatever disappointment you associate with something that didn't work out for you in the past or that didn't pay off for you spirit is saying adjust your expectations to match your to match your desires what do you want to feel rather than feel resentment and anger associated with with something that is around you that you feel is limiting or limited you or perhaps you felt like you'd wasted time on are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it oh okay yeah again I'm getting this energy of sitting with yourself sitting with what is being grateful for for what you have without the longing for more 
Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't want more. Spirit is saying you can have this. You can go for this goal. But at the moment, you, you don't seem to be able to because of financial reasons. So rather than sit there in this energy of jealousy and envy towards others that can, Spirit is saying if you can sit, you can release anxiety and stress by being at peace and harmony with, with, with what you do have in your life and choosing to find happiness with what you have that is fulfillment fulfillment is not wanting more fulfillment is not that quest for more for longing for what we don't have it's recognizing that we already have what uh, what we need around us which is the ability to manifest happiness in our life so if you're sitting there and you're thinking, gosh, Michelle, I don't feel like I have happiness in my life. What you do have is the ability to manifest that happiness. And you will. You can. For you, it's all about putting a practical plan into place. Walking away from anything that is limiting this goal of yours. And, in, and moving towards a target, a goal. Uh, motivating, uh, being motivated to find your happiness, motivated to make change. Let's see, anything else here, advice for Leo regarding making this change? Advice for Leo regarding making this change, moving forward, Spirit. Where am I called to use my voice right now? You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. Now, some of you are writers. Some of you want to sh an artist to want to get your work out to the world, uh, your, your own unique voice, some kind of artistry that you feel uh, is important to be out into the world, <clears throat> to share your story, to be brave, to speak your truth. Your voice will be a catalyst Excuse me, guys. I'll just take a drink. So the fact that my voice just started to close off there, my throat chakra, when I was talking about your voice, tells me that perhaps you feel like your voice hasn't been heard. It may have been in a family situation where you feel like your voice hasn't been heard. Uh, you may feel like shouting, raging against the the world raging against people around you rather than do that spirit is saying you don't need to rage you don't need to shout you can use a quiet voice and achieve your goal a quiet defiant voice with an objective and the belief in that which you speak will take you far Believing, believing you can having faith and trust in yourself and your, your spiritual beliefs to propel you forward, to motivate you to take action. It's really rather beautiful energy and then I feel any voices that are contrary to you, that want to push back at you, tell you you can't, restrict you, I get you using a gentle, calm, forceful voice but not in an angry or confrontational way, I get you saying no this is what I want, this is what I what I what I want to do, this is coming from my soul. I get you being quite brave here and speaking up about your soul's truth, something that you want to do, an endeavor, some of you want to change your work, some of you are thinking about a complete career change, some of you are thinking about a move. So I, I see you being able to speak up and being able to uh, to quell or silence the voices around you that have been that you feel have been challenging challenging you challenging what you want to achieve challenging your happiness you have a vision a goal for your happiness and you want to achieve it and your voice will not be silenced you will achieve this goal your happiness will be achieved but it comes first from a belief in oneself and a belief that you can achieve this happiness by first being content and happy with what you have. It starts there. 
It starts from a place of gratitude. And then it moves, gratitude for what has become, what has come before, grateful for this family situation, gra gratitude associated with something that perhaps you've, you're leaving behind, gratitude for a spiritual lesson. Whatever it was, I feel that you're having gratitude, it's giving you a sense of peace. And then I get you, I, then I get an energy here of slowly but surely motivating yourself out of one thing, limiting beliefs, doubts in yourself, restrictive energy, restrictive patterns old ways of thinking I get you getting out of that situation and moving towards true happiness and contentment it, it's like um, it, it's a little bit like this um, uh, the, the person that just sits in an energy of uh, ungratefulness uh, sits with an energy of uh, envy, jealousy, looks out the door and, and says, oh, God, I wish I was out there having fun, but I'm having to be in here and I have to look after all of these kids or I have to look after my elderly parent or um, while everyone else is having fun. It, it's a choice. It's a choice to see that, okay, yeah, I might have to do that now. I may be constrained financially right now, but... My time will come and soon I'll be able to join those people out there having fun. Making a conscious choice to have something to look forward to, which I said right at the beginning. Have something to look forward to, have an objective, a goal. It will get you through the hard times. So Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Actually, I'll get one more card for you guys from this deck and then I will leave it there. Message for Leo, please, for 2023. Message for Leo, for 2023, please, for Leo. Message for Leo. Yeah, loss. It's overcoming loss. Um, yeah. I don't feel whatever was lost, uh, for a lot of you, uh, whatever you've lost was meant to be lost. for a time because I get you being restricted you're being held back you can't join that but you will see that person again I'm getting that there will be some kind of reconciliation or uh, getting back together with a soulmate and but you you do have to cut a cord though to uh, some kind of other entity another energy it could be a job it could be another person it could be a false twin flame it could be a, a soulmate that you, you've learned what you can from something some of you could be tied to uh, obligations duties family uh, and holding yourself back and somebody else has gone off here uh, someone that you something that you feel passionate about it could be a person it could be a job as something that you've let go of but it's something that you really want I feel like um, I feel like you will regain this again there will be an opportunity to regain this it may not be exactly the same thing or exactly the same but it, it will it will come back to you uh, this will return uh, the opportunity there will be other opportunities to gain that which you want so how about uh, planning for another opportunity at this? Another go at the, the wheel, another, uh, another, another opportunity to, to have what it is that you want, whatever you feel passionate about. Yeah, you had to let go of something in 2022, but another opportunity will come back in 2023. It may be the same thing, it may be a different thing, but it's going to be something that's good, it's going to be something that you'll be 
prepared for because uh, you'll have worked on this financial situation. And a lot of you have had to, will have to will will have some kind of energy here of releasing yourself from something that was holding you back to do with with family, something that you needed to take care of, some duties and obligations. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Leo, and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I thank you so much, guys. Please take care. Have a happy, healthy, safe, and prosperous 2023. And bye for now.